Happy, what day is it? Wednesday. How are y'all doing tonight? I'm Amy with Lulu Bean Designs. Um, back again with another fun painting tutorial for y'all. Um, so if you're just joining me, come on in and say hello and tell me where you're watching from and tell me what's going on today. Um, hey Penny, how are you? We are going to be painting the patriotic door hanger this evening. And, um, this one should be super fun. We did the uh, shelf sitter set last night. And so tonight we're doing the door hanger. This is one of the June files for SVG Clubhouse. Um, I did have someone ask yesterday. Uh, they said, you know, this is really close to July 4th. Well, these files were actually released to members on June 1st. Um, and we are getting ready to give you your July files on July 1st, and you will have some fall files that month. So we do give them to you ahead of time. I'm just painting them just to show you a different example of a way that we can paint them because these are a little bit different from the marketing photos that are already um, in your file. So um, a little bit about SVG Clubhouse. Our club is open all this week. Um, we opened the doors on Tuesday, and we're going to be open until Sunday at midnight. So we've had a lot of new people join, and um, we're just really having a good time over there, and we invite you to join this week. If you join today, you can still get three bonus files um, in addition to the four files that you get for the month of June. So let me show you those bonus files. We have got... Um, now, the one that goes away today is the shelf sitter. So this is uh, our theme for the bonus files is Christmas in July. So this is our Christmas in July shelf sitter. And um, this file, like I said, this is only a bonus if you join today. After today, this bonus file does go away. Um, and then there will be two left. And the two files that are left are this shaker file. Um, and we did all of these live um, last week. So if you want to see videos of me painting them, you can look back on my page um, and just click on uh, media and videos. And you can see all the videos that we did. And then um, the last file that's available as a bonus is going to be this file. And this one would go away after Friday. Um, baby, it's warm outside. So this is Santa's little like beachy laundry laying on or uh, tied out on the line. So we had a lot of fun painting that as well. And um, so, yeah, we are going to be painting this fun patriotic door hanger tonight. Um, oops, sorry. Let me get rid of that. Okay. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment. If you are already a member of the group, if you just joined, um, comment and let me know uh if you have downloaded any of the files if you've made any of the projects um and all the things i am just going to put a coat of paint on this shiplap backer this is an 18 inch shiplap backer i cut my backers out of quarter inch birch um i also give you a split version of your backer so if you have a smaller laser and you can't cut a big huge backer like this if you can only cut uh, you know, Glowforge size. I give you this uh, file so that the, the backer is split in two pieces and it has a fastener on the back um, so that you can uh, put it together and the line is hidden in the shiplap line. So you're not going to see where, where it's split. It's going to be hidden in one of the shiplap lines. And um, there's a fastener piece that goes on the back that helps hold it together. So we are doing my faux staining technique right now on this backer. And this is a little bit of gray sky paint mixed with some dark chocolate paint. Both of these are deco art colors. And the effect at the end here is just going to be sort of a bleached out, um, Kind of a grayish look it's a little less orange than just doing the dark chocolate by itself so i was using it this is a baby wipe by the way i was doing my baby wipe technique where i just took a little bit of dark chocolate paint and used a baby wipe and it was very pretty but this is a little bit less orange so if you're looking for your wood color 
your faux stain to be a little less of a shade of orange, then adding a little gray to it helps that. And I just kind of figured that out the other night when I was painting and I've stuck with it because I really like this more muted tone. And yes, you could use stain, but I just prefer to use paint because it dries faster. Um, it washes off my hands easier. It doesn't smell. I don't have to use it out in the garage like I would with stain. I don't want to use stain in my house. So I just do this faux stain with my paint. You could also use a damp sponge if you don't have baby wipes on hand. That would work. I get the big sponges from the Dollar Tree or from Amazon, and I just cut them up into sizes that I can, you know, like big chunks that I can use to um, do my staining. Okay, so this is what the end result looks like. It's just kind of a, a bleached uh, shiplap, kind of like a farmhouse stain look. And I'm going to set that over here to dry. while we paint all our little pieces. So you guys, um, tell me if you can hear me and see me, because the comments are not popping up like I have had comments popping up and I just wanna make sure that everybody can hear me and see me tonight. All right, so our theme for the Patriotic Files is Sweet Land of Liberty, and we're gonna be painting this fun cake and I just realized the second that I went live that my stars are in the garage. So I'm going to run out to the garage and grab my little stars that go on this cake. Um, so you guys, thank you, Penny. Thanks for letting me know. Okay, so you guys hold that thought for just a second. I will be right back. all of my little pieces. Hey, Margie, how are you? Who else is joining in? Hey, Carmen. All right, we have found all of our little stars here. So I'm going to be punching those out in just a minute, but we will start with our cake. So we've got some layers here, and then we've got our little cake stand. And I'm going to paint our cake stand with some gray. I've run out of gray sky. So I am lightening up this other gray color that I have. This is slate gray, which is a little bit darker, but I'm just going to darken it or lighten it up just a little bit. Sorry, y'all getting my dog. Come on. Okay. All the distractions. I'm good. Thank you, Margie. Oh, my goodness gracious. It's just one of those nights I can't get it together. All right. So we're going to paint our little cake stand here. So it looks kind of silver, like it's metal. The 
Is anybody watching the LSU baseball game? My husband is across the street with neighbors watching the baseball game tonight. And then this blue is Primary Blue by Deco Art. And I'm just grabbing a little bit of white to make it not so monochromatic. for a bright, bold blue color on our cake layer. And I'll go back in and swirl a little bit. Oh, Carmen's got the LSU colors up. <laughs> Mixing just a little bit of white back in here. This one I did not paint ahead of time. I just thought we would wing it a little bit tonight. But we know we're going with a red, white, and blue theme, right? You could always use this cake without the stars on it and make it a birthday cake or a wedding cake if you wanted to and then just change the words on your door hanger. Make your files work for you and do some different things with them. You make it look so easy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Not always, sometimes, um, Sometimes I mess it up. Sometimes I, I'm not happy with my paint job at the end. It's not always easy, but I have been painting for a couple years now. So sometimes I know some, some techniques to do if it's not turning out like I like, and I need it to have a little more pizzazz, you know. See, like right now, I was adding a little white, but that's too much white. So we're going to go back in with the red. I don't want to make pink. So I think I've lightened it up a little too much. I'm just going to probably have to go back with my red again. Probably go back and do a second coat on there to brighten it up some. Okay, I'll let that dry. And then we're gonna do that periwinkle color that we used last night. This color that's like a purpley blue. The red is called True Red. That's my go-to Christmas red color. 
Sometimes I use Santa red, um, but lately I've been sticking with the true red. It's just nice and bright. I did take a razor blade to my table today, y'all, and get most of the glue off. So it looks much better. But the razor blade took a little chip out of my table, I'm not gonna lie, just one little chip. I was bummed. And then same thing with this color, just a little bit of white, just to kind of be able to see some texture in the paint. Give it some depth. See how it just looks a little bit streaked. I love this periwinkle color. I think it would be really pretty for fall mixed with some of the, um, this new orange that I bought called Warm Sunset. I think that would be a really pretty color combo for fall. Go back up here and I'm going to do a little bit more red again because I do want that red to be brighter. I have to chuckle. I remember when you were first starting painting and you used to tell us how you paid your teenager to paint and she was better than you. That is very true. I did do that. My daughter painted way better than I did. Are you dipping in water and white? No, no water. I didn't dip it in water. My paintbrush was wet. I just dipped it in a little white paint is all I did but I did not like the effect with the white, or I'm sorry, with adding the white to the red because it made it too muted. So now I'm going back and just brightening up my red again. It worked with the blues, but not so much with the red. So I think that's better. Alrighty. Now I've got to get my stars of my wood here. And this is actually my um, shelf sitter set that I painted last night because the stars and the little um, sprinkles are the same for this set. So I don't know how I ended up forgetting to cut them out for the door hanger, but I had an extra set for the shelf sitter. So I'm borrowing them. Now in your file, they're scored. but in uh, this original file, they are not scored. So uh, you'll have them all scored to know where to put your stars if you want to do the score lines. Make sure I'm not missing any comments. Okay, so we're gonna paint, uh, let's see, we're gonna paint our stars red. 
So let me grab a piece of tape here. And use this one I just filled off. I have my fan on and it's blowing my tape. <laughs> there we go. So we can paint all our stars at the same time. Hopefully this is enough stars for the top and bottom of this cake since I'm borrowing from this other file. We don't need the teeny tiny ones. There we go. And then we'll paint our little sprinkles white. But yeah, this just shows you how this file is versatile. You can omit uh, your stars and just paint your cake for a different occasion. And um, all of the files in the club come with the uh, supply list. So all your paint colors are on the list. Um, I also put the fonts on there. So if you like the font on the door hanger, but you want to change the lettering, the fonts are on your supply list as well. Okay, here's all my little sprinkles. How do you get your white to stay white and not look dirty? Um, Penny, I don't really have a problem with the deco art white. I buy like the these big bottles of it says snow titanium white. Now, every once in a while, I will go to my uh, folk art home decor chalk white, white chalk paint which is not as like bright, bright white, but um, the only time that I usually do that is when I, I really need like a thick coat on something and I don't need it to look like super bright white. Um, so like for instance, the little decor bench, I painted one of those white um, and it uh, it's in the picture. It's the one, the picture of the patriotic shelf sitter that I painted last night. I posted a picture on my page and it's the white chair, I mean, I'm sorry, it's the white bench, and it's got the star, uh, like, back on the bench, and I painted that white with the white chalk paint. But I do a lot of times have to do two coats of white because that's just how white is, especially if I'm using paint pens. Um, you do typically need to do two coats with, like, a white Posca pen, I also like to use the little sponge sticks. So with those, you're getting a good amount of paint and it typically goes on nice and thick. And sometimes I can get away with just one coat using a sponge stick. Um, how is your weather? We are sweltering in Southeast Texas. Yes, we are sweltering here as well, but I am fine with it. Um, I would rather be warm than cold. And back home in Virginia today, where we're from, 66 degrees. And um, one of my friends was like, your weather is so different down here than uh, our weather up here today. And yeah, I'd rather have 90 than 66, so. I love summer. I am. I used to love fall and spring, and now I'm really more of a summer person. I just, I don't know. As I've gotten older, I just really like that warm weather. Make sure I'm not missing any comments. I use deco art white. Not sure why mine always looks dirty. I don't know. What uh, material are you painting? Are you painting on MDF, maybe? Sometimes I think MDF can do that. All right, I think we're gonna do white on these big stars. Now, these big stars, um, and I'm sorry I messed this up tonight, y'all. These big stars, I'm looking to see if I like, 
put the rest of these pieces somewhere. I don't know what happened. I'm, you know, it's the middle of launch week and I'm losing my mind just a bit. So y'all show me some grace. Um, yeah, I'm missing a star. I think if I'm not mistaken, the stars that go on this cake are, and obviously there's five of them, are a little bit smaller than this because they fit on here better um, than these. These are from the shelf sitter file. I'm just, you know, working with what I got tonight. So I'm going to fix that as soon as I get off this live. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and paint these white like we will. Um, Diana said she's in Virginia Beach and the weather is bipolar. That is very true in Virginia this time of year. In, in Ohio, too. I have not been to Ohio. Um, where did my little white... Oh, there. No, I lost my white sponge stick down in the, down in the paint jar. All right. So for the time being, we're going to paint these stars white just so we can kind of see what this looks like. But I promise you, all the pieces are in your file. I have just lost my mind this week. <laughs> Trying to get all the things done. Alrighty, what else do we need to paint? Just the lettering, I do believe. I think that is it. All right, let me put my cake together because I want to see what that's going to look like before I do my lettering. So, I'm going to salvage that little sponge stick guy right there. Born and raised in Ohio. I have heard Ohio is lovely. I have just never been there. Y'all, I'm almost out of glue. I had to order more of, uh, I actually ordered Stick Fast. I did not order Star Bond. Um, I just decided to go back to my, my old standby Stick Fast glue. And so that's what I ordered this time. But I did not get the gigantic container that um, I got the last time. I still have that container in Virginia. I still have that same huge bottle of stick fast glue in Virginia and it's still working great. So y'all will see next week when I head back there and I do some videos there, um, y'all will see my old, my good old, um, stick fast gigantic container of glue. All right. So let's get these stars and dots sort of, scattered on here. Oh, that's not going to work. We're going to need more stars on this one because this one's bigger. We're not going to end up using all of those sprinkles, but I think that will do. That's going to be super cute. I like the kind of two-tone, different shades of um, blue on there. It kind of looks like a little bit like denim with the white swirled in. Oh, my blue is dripping.
I'm just being gluing because of how it's coming out. I don't want to turn it back upside down because it's almost empty. So I'm trying to keep the glue bottle sideways. Okay, super cute. Do the bonus files have a supply list? I was wondering where to find the cute beachy sequins. I do not know. I don't give you a supply list for the bonus files. That Those are the only ones that don't have a supply list. Um, but I did do videos on all of the files. Um, let me see. Cute beachy sequins. Oh, the ones on the shaker. Okay, there's sequins on the shaker. So the beachy sequins, I'm not going to glue these stars on here, y'all, because like I said, they're not the right stars. Um, we're just going to do this. Just to kind of give you a visualization, but I need to get the other stars that actually fit on there and put them on. Um, okay, so the sequins for the shaker came from Hobby Lobby. So I have a stash of just like multicolored sequins that I got a long time ago on Amazon. Those are on my Amazon supply list. If you go to my website, just go to lulubeandesigns.com and go to my favorite supplies button and that'll take you to my Amazon storefront. And I have my sequins are on there. You can order like a multi uh, pack of sequins from Amazon. That's where I got those. But then the specifically like little starfish, uh, seashell, those sequins, those were in a little pack from Hobby Lobby. So if you go to the back of the store, it's not on the same aisle as the uh, all the little craft paints, but it's on an aisle usually like a couple down from that. And I think if I'm not mistaken, the aisle has like glitter sequins. I think it's the same aisle that the felt is on, if I'm not mistaken. And I know most Hobby Lobbies are the same wherever you go. So yeah. Hopefully that will help. But yeah, those beachy ones, I've had those for a while and they still carry them because I was there the other day and I saw that they still had them. All right, sweet land of liberty. So we're going to do white, red. Are we going to do red? I think white, red, white, red on there is what we're going to do. Yep. Or we could do some blue. Do blue on the bottom. Maybe the periwinkle color. That would be cute. Maybe we'll do that. Um, you are so welcome. If you have any questions, you can always ask in the group. And I'll be happy to answer um, membership related questions. Like if you can't find emails and things like that, always email me. It's amy at lulubeandesigns.com because that's the quickest way for me to look up your account because then I have your email address instead of just like your Facebook username. Um, but for questions like where to locate things, yeah, feel free to ask in the group because I'm always checking in there. So y'all who are new to SVG Clubhouse, if you have not joined yet, I'm going to just tell you a little bit about it. So it is my membership group that opens a few times a year. It's for Laser and Glowforge owners and it's $17 a month. Or if you join annually, you get one month free. And what is included is every month you get four new exclusive files. And by exclusive, I mean that I'm not selling them in my Etsy shop for at least one year, but it's usually like closer to two years before I get around to putting them in the shop. <clears throat> um, you also get 50% off all the files in my Etsy shop. <clears throat> so if you buy a lot of files anyway, it pays for itself. You can use that 50% an unlimited amount of times on as many files as you like. You get a new code every month. 
Um, and you can buy as many files as you want at half off. And we also do a supply list that has clickable links on it. So it has all of the paint colors that we use, links to the supplies like the brushes, the sponges, uh, glue, wire, ribbon, beads, um, scrap of paper, anything that we use, ribbon, um, on our projects. The links are on there for you. So that just makes it super simple. Uh, you get a virtual paint party every month. We I go live and I show you how to paint one of the projects. And you also get um, access to our Facebook group. So all of that is included with your membership. And then whenever we open the doors to new members, um, and we offer bonus files. If you are an existing member, you automatically get the bonus files. And if you join today, there are still three bonus files left that you can get. After today, it goes down to two. We drop a file every day. So tomorrow there'll be two available. Friday there'll only be one. And then you can still join over the weekend, but there won't be any bonuses left. So you'll just get your monthly files. And it's a great deal if you join right now, because right now you'll still get these June files. Uh, plus you'll get bonuses. And then in about another, what is it, nine days? How many days are in June? Yeah, another like nine days, so about, about a week, uh, you'll get the July files. So that's a lot of files in a period of about a week that would be coming your way. This little part, the little dot on the eye is a heart. Um, you're welcome, Megan. Welcome to the group. Yay. She says she just joined yesterday. Yeah, you will figure it all out. Everything is very um, user friendly. Um, all the files are designed for Glowforge. So they're sized in a about 11 by 19 format. So they're just drop and go. You can just put them right into the Glowforge app and cut. You don't have to like rearrange things, move them around, all of that. So it just makes it super simple. All right, and we're gonna do just a few little highlights. Losing my, all my paper towels. My fan blows stuff around. Right. Just doing a few little accents. to kind of give a little interest on these letters. And then some accents on our cake.
just like so. And maybe on our cake stand as well. And did I read somewhere where we can buy last year's cliff files at a discount too? Are those in your Etsy or a private spot? Okay, so the way that it works in the club is that you can buy past month's files in the membership portal. Um, they are not half off, but we do offer half off of the corresponding month from last year every month. Okay, I know that might sound very confusing. Let me explain. So right now we are in June 2023. That means that you can purchase the June 2022 files at half off during this month. So those are the ones that are half off right now. Next month, you will be able to go back and purchase the June 2020, I'm sorry, July 2022 files at half off. The way that you do that is you go to the membership portal and you add them to your cart and you enter a coupon code. The coupon code is not the code that you use on Etsy, okay? It is not the same code. It is a different code, and the place to go to find it is if you go to our SVG Clubhouse Facebook group and you go under the Featured tab. There's a tab at the top that says Featured. Go under there and scroll down, and you will see a picture of the bundle from June of 2022 and a post at the top of it that says, like, Hey guys, these are the June 2022 files. They're half off this month. The coupon code is blah, blah, blah. That's where you always find that. Okay. So if you want those, go grab those before July 1st. Okay. So we're going to, I think, you know what I, I might do here? Let me do this. I might do a little, I don't usually do this, but a little blue highlight on my white letters. You know, I'm feeling feel like that might look cute tonight. Let me see how this looks. You might have to even go back and add a little Red. I feel like it's 4th of July. It needs a little something special. Ask as many questions as you'd like. No problem at all. All right, so a little bit of, little bit of bread. Oh, this is cute. Just needed something a little different. I really like that. I think that's fun. It's hard for you to see on the um, table, but yeah, just kind of different. I think it's gonna look cute when we get it on the sign. Okay, I'm gonna put this all together. On our backer. Just picture it with the correct 
uh, stars on the little pennant banner at the top. <laughs> if I had cut the correct stars out. I feel like that needs, land needs a little uh, blue on there too. Yeah, just to give it some, some depth depth of color. Okay, so get your cake on there where you want it. It's supposed to hang off of the door hanger a little bit. That's just something I do with my door hangers. I like them to kind of hang off of the edge of the circle. I like that look. If you want to decrease the size of them slightly, you can certainly do that, but I like for things to just kind of hang off. I just think it looks cool. Okay, that is it. Let me... Nope. Yep. <laughs> so you can kind of see the entire thing a little bit better. Yeah, I think that looks cute. Oh, you know what it needs, y'all? It needs some patriotic bees at the top. And I'm going to highlight those white stars, but of course, I'm going to do the correct stars on there before I do the highlights. So let's do, let me see if I can fit this so y'all can see. I'm trying to get y'all to see the top of the door hanger. Okay, so it's not crooked. Thank you, Penny. All right, we're going to get our wire out. I did get a new spool of wire, but I'm going to try to use this last little bit. So this is my wire I get off of Amazon, 17 gauge, uh, 250 feet. This is aluminum. It says electric fence wire. I don't remember the last spool saying electric. It just said fencing wire. And I got the last one I got was at Tractor Supply. But <clears throat> I just ordered this one off of Amazon. This one was $9.99. It's a great deal. It's got a ton of wire on it. Um, but before I start on that one, I'm going to use up this last little spool. This was just a little, uh, a small one that I got at, I think, I think I got it at Walmart. I just was totally at wire. And I grabbed it. I do believe I got it at Walmart. Okay, so I've cut about, what is that, 14, 15, maybe 15 inches of wire. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and I would do this after I had everything glued down. I just, I'm not going to glue it quite yet. Oops, wait a minute, hold on, I'm putting beads on there. Okay, I'm going to put one end through, so I have a piece of wire sticking up. And then I'm taking my pliers and grabbing that piece that's sticking up, and I'm just winding it down. And we're going out with it. And if you want more wire, you can certainly do more. Um, sometimes I do a little bit more than that. That's probably a little short for me, actually. And then I showed y'all these beads yesterday that are so stinking cute. So these are my patriotic beads I got on Amazon. And we are going to use some of those. So we have so many. And they're such cute ones. Like there's this little firecracker. And then we've got our stars. And our stripes, like our little scallop stripes. Maybe one. And then I'll switch over and we'll do Uncle Sam's hat. These are just so cute. A white one, 
Maybe another red. And then there's a gnome. I love the gnomes. They're so cute. I have to put a gnome on there. Here they go. Here's one. The little patriotic gnome is so adorable. All right, let's see how many do we need. Let's get those on there. And then maybe we'll do like two more. Do another maybe. Okay. Nope, there go my, there go my beads, hold on. We're running out of room. Beads are flying. Seal that back up. Okay, so now we're going to put that wire up through the back. And feed it through. We just leave enough room that they move a little bit. We're going to take our wire. And roll her on down. Just like so. And then just kind of push it down at the end. Oh, Diane says she almost missed me. That's adorable. Thank you so much. Oh, you, did you order your beads? Your beads are real. I can't talk. Your beads will be here tomorrow. That is exciting. Okay, so here's our little bead handle. Super cute. And they just move around on there. I just think it makes them so fun. All right, so that's our door hanger, y'all. I'm gonna go get it all glued down and get my stars cut out in the right size, and I'll take a picture of that and post it for y'all in the group. So be sure if you haven't already joined to join tonight so you get three bonus files. Let me really quick show you the bonus files that you get. So, oh, I already showed you. Didn't I already show you? I think I did show you in this video. We'll do it again. So this one's going away after today. This is the shelf sitter. Beachy little Christmas. Uh, Christmas in July shelf sitter. I love the sign that says sand is the new snow. I just think that's so fun, right? And then tomorrow is the last day to grab this one. If you join today, you get all three. Um, this one is our shaker file. If you missed the shaker video, and you've never made a shaker with your laser, I urge you to go and watch this video on my page Shakers are my heart. I love them, love them. They're so much fun to make. This one, I think, might be my all-time favorite shaker. It was just so fun. And then this one is the one for Friday. It's the baby, it's warm outside um, door hanger. And it's got Santa's little, you know, beach wear hanging up on there. Mrs. Claus's little polka dot of bathing suit. Um, and we've got some beads on that one as well. So be sure and join so you can grab all the bonuses. And I hope to see you guys in the club. You are so welcome, Penny. All right, thanks for joining me tonight, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful night, and I will see you again tomorrow night. Bye.